Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode of checking out one of your guys solo systems but before we get into that I just want to say a bit of an apology obviously because there was no video yesterday and I did want to have one out but if you saw the notices I released on YouTube and Discord I wasn't I, I really was not feeling well and I wasn't up to getting the video out sadly so yeah apologies for no video yesterday but yeah today we're doing another episode checking out one of your systems and the reason i'm doing another one is i just want to get through the list i have i have so many on this list i've made of systems to do it people have asked i want to try and get a little more through the list before i do enough video so i may do these in in twos now try and do like them back to back and then do other videos throughout the week so yeah but i have got i have actually got some really good ideas and really cool things planned for the near future so yeah stay tuned for that but yeah Today we have a system from Zane B, who is in my Discord. So yeah, um, I don't know if I have a link to your channel or not. I can, I'm, I'll have a look, but um, after I upload the um, video, but I'm, I don't think I've got a link to your channel if you have one. So um, yeah, I can't add that to the comments unless, or, or just comment down below, then I can do it that way. But um, yeah, we got one from Zane B in my Discord today. So yeah, it's called Cluster, and apparently it has like seven thousand objects in it, I believe. Uh, he said, no, 4,700, sorry. Okay, so it's just called Cluster. So this should keep us busy for a while. So let's see what we got in here. It should be pretty interesting since this thing's meant to be pretty big. So, oh, here we go. Oh, he's got um, Sage in the middle here. And I'm guessing all three of these are different um, different objects. All right, so let's go straight to the middle with Black Hole in the middle. So, yeah, Sagittarius A, the center of the uh, Milky Way object right here. So, yeah, Black Hole. So, former Holt C... Okay, so we've just got a load of our, um, a load of um, stars in here for the menu. But have any of these got planets around is the question. I'll, I'll visit all of them just to check. Okay, none around that. I'll have to have a look around. Obviously, you guys can um, see how much mass these guys have. They're not anything custom. But we have Sirius over here. Any moon or any moons? Oh, sorry, the planets. Nope. Okay, um, this one. Lots of um, lots of stars in here. It's like Subscribers Universe a bit. Um, a... Anything in here? Nope, no planets around this. Let's do a quick stats. So there's 4,700 in here. Okay, so there's got to be some planets somewhere. Okay, so we've done all of those stars. Okay, what about Spicer? Anything over here? Nope, nothing there. All right, so I'm guessing there must be on the really, really far away ones then. Caster Gem, maybe. What about Deneb? Any any planets around you? Nothing around Deneb either. All right, um, Caster Gem AA. Nothing around you either. Okay, where are they all at? Uh, Regulus, they must be on the ones further away. Uh, Regulus, nope, nothing around there. Rightio, Alhina here. Oh, I think that's how you say it. So we've got this one. Nope, nothing there either. There's a lot of um, stars here without anything around them. Uh, what about this one here? WD112, or 1142645. Nothing around there. I've not seen that star in the menu before. Maybe that's why. Oh, it's a white dwarf. Look, 6,000 kilometers. Uh, what about Algol? Anything around you? No planets around you either? Nope. No orbits. I am on orbits, aren't I? Yeah, orbits are a switch on. Uh, there's that. Denebola. Any any objects around you? So got a ton of objects in the uh, middle there. <laughs> Nothing around them. Um, Pollux. Maybe the Alpha Centauri's have them around then. Nothing around Pollux either. Huh. Okay, so there's that. Uh, Alpha Centauri A. Anything around you? Sun sized star. Nothing wrong Alpha Centauri A either. Where are these guys? We just got going for every star. Oh, we're done, Pollux. Alpha B. What about you? Also, guys, while I'm just going through all this, trying to look for um, the objects, the net object competition will be the next video. So if you want to um, join that, make sure to make a Proxima B, a Proxima Centauri B, however you want to call it. Make sure you do one of those and then send it to me. Either send me a link to it in the workshop or just upload it in my Discord. Um, so yeah, I just want to get out of the work that other way, so I'll be doing that next. So that should be coming out to no Friday. That will come out on Friday. I'm going to record it tomorrow and then put it out on Friday. All right, so here we go. We have now got a um, star with planets around it, and that's actually the smallest. I think that's the small. Or that's an asteroid that orbits around. Um, I have them. I have one of these. I'm pretty sure. D A C. Yeah, I do. D A C T Y L. This is the smallest. Well, it's the smallest something. I can't remember what it is. Is it the smallest moon? Yeah, 792 meters. I think that's one of the smallest moons in the solar system. I can't remember exactly. All right. Anyway, so we need have now have planets. So let's see what we've got here. All right. So the first planet would in theory be this one. So that's just a little asteroid. We don't need to really zoom in on that. So we've got that one there. Then we've got Fawn. Fawn. Got that one there. 
Yeah, these are all just asteroids. We're at Cassandra here. This looks like a planet. Ooh, look at this. It's one of the, it's a banded one. Ooh, I've, I've seen this somewhere before. Do I have one of these? I'm not sure. I'll just call it a uh, banded, banded something. I like to save these. I like to collect all these. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen this one before somewhere. But that's a really cool, um, really, really cool blue and white clouded one. Yeah, I've definitely seen this before. So you've got that one there. Um, then a few more random moons or a pack. I recognize that name. I can I recognize that. Okay, so next up we've got Pandora here. So this is a... Oh, look how weird this thing is. It's like got a really, really crazy atmosphere on it. Oh, it could be due to the amount of stars in here. I reckon you... Oh, no, it's the atmosphere. Oh, no, it must be... I reckon that's due to the amount of stars in here. I bet you if I go on flashlight, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's just because the amount of stars in here. It makes the atmosphere go all weird when you visualize it on realistic. But yeah, you got that one there. Okay, any other moons? Well, they're all just little ones. Hermea, we've got a Hermea here. Um, okay, I think that's it for all of the ones around there. So we've got the, yeah, the banded one. That's a cool gas giant. Then we've got Taskust out here, and that's just another asteroid. Okay, so there's all of the um, objects around that star. So I'm guessing that the other 4,000 have got to be somewhere else. So now we're going up to this one. Looks like it's got stuff. So we've got Loki here. Is it in a binary with something? I see another star there. So it's in a binary with Exena. Oh, look at this. Oh, ho, ho. That blue one, I've seen one of these before as well. I'm sure I've got that saved somewhere. Let me if I just search banded. Have I got it somewhere? Band? I haven't particularly organised these all yet. I'm, I was in the middle of doing that, but then I stopped for some reason. But I definitely, I'm sure I've seen this one before. This is really cool though. I'll, I'll give that a saver. These things are so cool to collect. Just having loads of them just to look at. They just look amazing. I like to have them all in my menu to look at. Um, look at yeah, that's really cool. The way that's made. So, yeah, there it is there. Look how bright the center looks of Sag A there. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, there is that. So, that, that looks amazing. That blue one. <laughs> All right, so now we have a, a colonized series with a white atmosphere as well. Ooh, a modded series. I've never seen a modded series. I wonder who made this. This is quite cool. So, there it is. I don't know if um, Zane, the creator, made this or not. Cause I've, I've never seen this before, but that is a colonized series. I wanna... That's a cool one to collect. Nice. I really like that. It looks series looks really good of a white atmosphere. Damn, I, I really like that. Well done, whoever made that. I'm assuming Zane did, but because I've never seen it before. But well done. That is really really cool. So any more objects out here? No. Okay, they're just all asteroids. So that's in a. Oh, that's not actually in a binary, but it's orbiting around the low key there. All right. So there is that. So there must be a ton of objects on these last two. So we got. Oh, there's rings in here. Maybe. All right. Polaris A B. Anything around you? Let's zoom in. Nothing around this star. Okay. So I'm guessing the remaining ones are all around that very, very last one then. So this will probably take quite a while to go through. Unless there's any more out here, which doesn't look like it. Okay. So let's see what we got here. All right. So this is... Oh, Faya as a star? Huh. Oh. So there it is there. Um, oh. Is there any more objects out here maybe? There's got to be some rings somewhere. All right. So first planet around you is a hot Venus. Yes, yeah, a hot, hot, hot Venus by the looks of it. So there it is there. So this is Lamparose. 800 degrees there, almost 900. All right, next up, then we have, um, yeah, Leg, leg Wenstar. So, yeah, there's its stats there. So, 77 and then 56 there. So, it's an all ocean world. So, there we go. All right, then this one must have rings. There's got to be something around here. Yeah, there they are. I knew there'd be rings. So, there we go. And this is going with a Neptune blue sort of color. Ooh, looking good with a green surface. Liking this. Let's go on a realistic, get a good look at that guy. There you go. It's a little less glitchy with the atmosphere around here, but still a little. 73 and then 45 on it. Nice. You can barely see the rings, but yeah, they are there. You can see them there. Go back to realistic. Can, or flashlight, sorry. We can see them a lot easier there. So there are the rings. It looks like the moons have been spreading them out a bit as well. So then we have this one. Oh, I'm liking the way that looks. That's a really cool um, color scheme under the... Definitely like that. That's really cool. Then we got uh, this one. Idel over here. So there is that one. Then we got Mol. So there is that. Okay. So yeah, all of the rings around there. That must be what makes the most object count. Then we have G Red here. So it's one of the um. Oh, he must have got this in one of um. He must have got it from that simulation I did because that is exactly what my one is called. So if I go underscore G Red. Is this a G? Oh, so there's a space red. Yeah, there you go. G space red. That's exactly it right there. So you must have got that from the really, really cool simulation me and, uh, me and Anomalous put on the workshop. So yeah, really, really cool. So there it is there. 
And then the last object in here. Ooh, have I seen this before? Another banded object with rings as well. Let's go on a studio mode, get a good look at it. Ooh, I'm liking that. I'm, have I seen this before? I don't think I have one of these saved. But that looks really, really nice. White and green bands. That's, uh, that is really, really cool. I'm not sure if I've seen this before. I know I have, I've seen green ones, but green and white? I'm not sure. That looks really cool in the North Pole, though. Look at that. That looks really awesome, but... Have I, have I seen... Uh, have we seen this before, guys? Let me know down below if you've seen this in one of my videos before. I don't recognise this, but... Obviously, I've seen thousands of objects. I can't remember every single one, but... Have I, have I seen this before? Let me have a quick look through the... Uh, objects. I usually do save them, so if I saw one, I probably would have saved it. Because it's pretty cool to collect all these, so... Maybe it's in here somewhere. <laughs> I mean, look at how many objects I have in here. There's quite a lot of things. So, yeah, all of my cloudy templates from that simulation I uploaded for Christmas. Tons of templates. Um, then we've got some more banded ones. Pink, green, and band, the one there. A pink and green one. Not a white and green one, though. Huh. So I've, ne I've never seen that before, but there's just so many banded ones I have in here I need to organise. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen... Um, seen one like this before so that's a pretty nice um object i think i already saved it nice but um yeah that is cool i like that now, i don't know if he made them or not because it's quite hard to know these days because we have seen the same objects appear in multiple systems but i've never seen some of these objects before yeah this one and the series i've never seen them so i'm assuming he made them so well done if you did make these because these are really really cool definitely a, definitely a thumbs up because they are really really cool but yeah i'm assuming that's it i'm not sure if there's any more so I'm zooming out. Yeah, I'm guessing the rings take up a massive chunk. If I just do Control D, get rid of the rings. I'm guessing only 52 objects. Yeah, we must have gone through them all. So yeah, nothing further out. All right, so let's get a um. Can I do Control Z? Does that undo? No. Okay. So let's get a lineup of them all here. All the objects. Oh, there's a black hole. Not not often we get a black hole. It's nice to see a black hole because we do not get black holes in subscriber systems very often. So that's a nice addition. So we've got a ton of um stars from the regular menu. Then going into the planets. My favorite one is definitely the um. Definitely this one out of them all. Although I like the green one, I just prefer the color blue over green. So, yeah, this does look good. But for me, that is my favorite one in here. And then favorite rocky object. It's probably got to be this one. I really like the colors on that. I think if we go back out to um, back out on there. Although I do like that series. I really, really like the way this looks. Here we go. It's Curio. I really like that. It looks really, really good. I, if we just um, hide the atmosphere. Look underneath. I really like that desert look. It really gives me a sort of desert sort of vibe to it. The darker red. And then we've got like the, um, obviously the orange. I really, really like the colours on that. It's a very, very nice scheme. And then with the blue atmosphere, it, I think that blends quite well. I, I like that one. So yeah, there we go, guys. So let me know which object do you think is the um, best um, down below in the comments. Because there's some pretty, pretty interesting ones in here. So um, yeah, especially that series. I really like that series. So yeah, let me know um, which one you think is the best down below as well. And also a massive, massive thank you to Zane B for sending the um, simulation in, of course. So yeah, if you want to check it out for yourself, it's in my server, in my Discord server. So definitely make sure to join that if you haven't already. But um, yeah, that is about it. So remember, if you also if you want to send in your own systems as well, either join my Discord and upload them there, or just send me um, um, a comment and then telling me to search up whatever on the workshop. So say the simulation is called Solar System One, for instance. Just tell me to search up Solar System One. I'll go ahead and find it on the workshop and I can do an episode on it for you if you want to do that. So. Yeah, just want to get out that out of the way because a lot of people are asking how do how can I get one in the video? So yeah, that's how you do it. So either join my Discord server, which would be the easier option, or tell me what it's called on the workshop, then I can go um hunt it down on the workshop and do a video on it from there. So yeah, they're, they're the two options um if you want to do that, of course. But yeah, that is it for today, guys. So um hopefully you um enjoyed today's video and make sure if you did um hit that like button to see if we can go for 50 likes on this video as well guys it really really helps out the channel a lot and also a massive massive thank you for 6200 subscribers now we hit that yesterday when i wasn't feeling well so i didn't really get to see it until i woke up today but yeah just a massive massive thank you for everyone for that because that is absolutely amazing and also i'll get a 6k special done it seems like it's going to be a q a at this um, point because um that's the only one people have really shown an interest in so yeah a 6k um q a could be possible but let me know um down below in the comments what you want to see for the 6k special otherwise i will just do a, a q a so i know a few people said that but um yeah with that all out the way make sure you guys all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye